It's a city where anything can happen. So what could go wrong or right as I hit up LA Unscripted? Farmers markets, food halls and food trucks to ethnic grocery stores, gourmet specialty shops and strip mall Michelin rated restaurants. California can be an unexpected culinary delight. Hi everyone, I'm Dana Devon and it is time to eat. I've always been a foodie. I always love trying different things and uh, grew up in the Middle East and Europe. So uh, when I moved here a few years back, um, I thought I'd just start posting all kinds of different food. There's just so much out here. I mean, I think it's over 30,000 restaurants uh, and anything and everything you can think of, uh, you can basically find. When you think food city, you don't really think LA, but is it a food city? Oh, absolutely. Especially like in my world, because I talk to a lot of all these people, a lot of foodies, um, New York definitely comes up. Uh, New York probably has a little better Italian food overall and probably pizza, but uh, LA does a lot of good food as well, like a lot of the Korean food, definitely Mexican food. I believe uh, firmly that LA has actually even a better food scene than all those cities. What are some LA must-haves that you would recommend? I love uh, Mzala, it's like mi Middle Eastern food. Um, in Sherman Oaks, that one's really, really good. Uh, extremely authentic, like very flavorful. If you like like barbecue, Parks barbecue, Quarters Korean barbecue, that's very, very good as well. If you like more like the traditional American barbecue, you can do like Bledsoe's, like great soul food. Um, I love their cornbread, their brisket. I can eat it every day. Now, Felix is very good Italian food. It's in uh, Venice area. It hits the spot, especially if you like pastas. Teddy's Red Tacos, it's like shredded beef, uh, you know, with birria tacos. That's one of, that's probably my favorite taco spot in LA. Like the only problem you'll run into is that there's too many options. You just can't decide. It looks so good. My stomach is growling and it sounds like a whale is going. Whoa. Oh, that's what that is. I wasn't sure if it was that or something else. So no, thank goodness. That's my thank stomach, goodness. yeah. Dana, and speaking of food, did you know that Southern California allegedly created the French dip no. sandwich? That's not it. The hot fudge sundae. Okay. The cheeseburger. Ooh. A Cobb salad. I'm back at cheeseburger and okay. hot fudge sundae. I was waiting for the reaction. Yeah, no. All good staples in oh, my diet. Yes. Did you also know more food for thought? Sourdough bread baked oh. here for the very first time. Obviously the California roll, okay, of course, created in Cali. But Megan, it's no mystery that most of my meals are actually ordered through Postmates. Oh, you're that mom. I'm that mom. Okay, well, I just don't cook at all, so thank goodness for husband Caesar. You and I are gonna get along, <laughs> yeah. But my son has been yeah. guilting me, saying you never, ever, ever let me get dumplings. He Dana Double Dog dared me to try my hand at making the dough for Good some luck. dumplings. Hello, I'm Dana's son, Cole. Uh, today, I will be daring my mother, uh, who does not know how to cook at all. When she made meatballs, my dogs wouldn't even eat the leftovers. Mom, I dare you to make dumplings. Oh, really, is that true? Okay, well, dare accepted. I'm here with Mae Hinneman from the Gorman D School, and she's actually gonna walk me through how to make dumplings with Cole. <laughs> What we're making today are chicken and chive hot stickers. What's really, really easy about dumplings is that basically we just have to add the ingredients to it and mix the fillings. Dana, have you ever separated an egg yolk before? I have, shockingly. Take your chives and thinly slice it. Who's doing the chopping here? Is it Cole, are you doing the chopping? Even Cole doesn't trust me with a knife. Okay, that looks really, I mean, it's starting to smell like it, I think it should smell. What is really important, guys, is that you don't overstuff because we want to be able to seal this. Whenever you're ready, go ahead and go for it, okay? About a medium heat, a good drizzle of oil, 
and start laying your dumplings in your pan. Okay, lid on. Okay. Do a little dip and let's hope that they're, co they're cooked. I think they should be cooked. <laughs> they're cooked. They're cooked is good. We did it. I cooked something. See? I mean, I told you, you can do it and you can do any filling you want. Thank you so much. I did it. I well, completed the dinner. Of it was like half because, hey! because, you know, I had to make half of it. Cool. Okay, don't get between a little dude and his dumplings. Just saying. By the way, the Gourmandie School has been touted as one of the best cooking schools in California. And if they can make me cook, anyone can cook. And to make sure you are on fire, there are never more than 12 cooks booked in a class. Oh, How about that's that? That's really intimate. intimate and yeah. we both need to sign up. <laughs> we do need direct attention. We, direct attention. I'm kind of nervous. Why? Because you're going to be trying one of my go to dishes next. Oh, it's I'm like excited. One out of one things I can make. <laughs> Such a taste bud tease. All right, well, this bite-sized soiree is just starting to sizzle. Coming up, Jessica Holmes whipping up amazingness while Liberty Chan is stirring up pineapple fried rice. Eat your vegan heart out. While Doug Kolk has the deets on baby food, plus your chance to win a delicious getaway at the Monarch Beach Resort. LA Unscripted, we're breakfast, lunch, and dinner all in one. thought the best chicken sandwich in town is in Atwater Village. Mm. Chicken and chips uh, started in Australia. So in Australia, they do chicken and gravy. So we kind of took that same concept and brought it to Los Angeles. So it's rotisserie chicken. We have french fries, which are hand cut potato fries. So we call them chips, obviously. The two most popular items are our spicy chicken sandwich and our truffle chicken sandwich. After COVID-19 hit, um, there were a lot of people supporting black-owned businesses. And so LA Times printed a list of over 200 restaurants that were black-owned business, and we actually got on that list. And they just supported us, um, and that really gave us kind of like the boost that we needed in a, in a pandemic. You ready? Yeah, let's do it. So would you like a truffle, a spicy, spicy truffle? Let's do the truffle. Um, you can find us at chickenandchips.com. Instagram is like a really big platform for us because uh, we have like a lot of people just come up and they just like, Shh, I want this right here. Text CHIPS to 515151 for your chance to win a $250 gift card to Chicken and Chips. Good luck. Okay, so what does it take to reach gastronome greatness in a foodie fantasy? <laughs> Don't look at me. I'd rather turn my kitchen into a closet, <laughs> yes! my shoes in the oven. Yes! Hello, everybody, and welcome back to LA Unscripted. I'm Dana Devon, and I make amazing reservations. Oh, sign me up, party of two. I'm Megan Tellis. You know who has or who does not have a really picky who? palate? Let me just put it out there. My daughter, Lola Ray, 11 months old. I feel old. her. She eats everything. Gr greens, she's like, whatever. Okay, no. okay, She'll okay. She'll still shove it down her throat. What does she love? She loves black beans. Really? All over her face. <laughs> I like it though. All right, so Postmates, Grubhub, Uber Eats for infants, anyone? Let's ask Daddy Doug Kolk. He must have the deets on feeding a fam. So the family is gathering in Big Bear for my mother-in-law's 60th birthday. Six. And everyone needs to cook a dish. But let's just say my culinary skills are not exactly up to par. No bottle for you. That's why I reached out to Chef Chris Tomonaga. So I was kind of hoping you could help me out with this. He's the executive chef at Manuela, a farm-to-table restaurant in downtown LA. It's about the attention to detail. And he's giving me some pointers to hopefully help me impress the fam. The recipe that was murdered in this kitchen was none other than shepherd's pie. Shepherd's pie can be really simple and it can be really rewarding and super comforting. You definitely need the warm and comforting of a big bear. So let's take it back a bit. 
to when I started this behemoth <laughs> with Chef Tomonaga over my shoulder. One of the biggest tips I think for kind of an amateur cook, you need to have the, the knife skills. Knife skills? The biggest thing to have the knife skills is to have that sharp knife. Sharp knife? Check. Fresh ingredients. Onions always fresh. <laughs> Time always fresh. The important thing about meat is getting a real, a real char on it. I always believe in salting early. And then you get, say, your onions and your carrots and your aromatics in there. And then you add your meat back in. And tasting all the way through. Just kidding. <laughs> should look good on the plate. It should look like you're eating at a restaurant. You're like my guardian angel in the kitchen. There you go. There you go, family. Eat at your own risk. So impressed. Daddy Cole, that's his new name in the kitchen. Who knew, huh? I am learning so much yeah. about Dougie Fresh on this show. All right, what if you don't know how to cook? Well, Jessica Holmes always has the recipes everyone's raving about. Sometimes nothing hits the spot better than a roasted chicken dinner with mashed potatoes. On to the chicken. So what I've got going on here, I've got chicken thighs. They have the skin on and the bone in, and that's just gonna give it more flavor. What we're gonna do is we're gonna bathe these beauties in some buttermilk. I'm gonna add some lemon juice, a half a lemon spot, a big, fat tablespoon, maybe two, of Dijon mustard. This is some leftover Prosecco that's gone flat. And let's be honest, Prosecco, white wine, it's all kind of the same. I don't think it could hurt any. Let's salt and pepper our chicken. On top of our chicken, let's put our mixture in. I'm gonna make fresh breadcrumbs. I'm gonna use crust and all. So to our bread, rosemary. I've got thyme, some parsley, garlic. Just throw it in there, you don't even have to chop it up. Two cloves of garlic, ooh, lemon zest. A little bit of salt. Let me put my lid on and pulse. Look at how easy, we're done. Fresh breadcrumbs. We take our chicken and it. And that's it. And just pile it on there. Okay, before these go in the oven, I'm gonna hit them with some olive oil on top so these breadcrumbs get nice and golden. Going into a hot oven. So our potatoes are staying warm. I drain them, but they're in the warm pot. And then in this pot, I'm going to add tablespoon of butter. You could do milk, half and half, heavy cream. I happen to have heavy cream. You don't wanna boil your milk or cream, but you wanna get it warm, and then I'm gonna mash up my potatoes. So to mash my mashed potatoes, I just took a big whisk and just started going to town on them. To that, in goes our heavy cream and our butter. And now we're getting somewhere. See, that's a pretty nice consistency. I'm gonna add my herbed goat cheese and just melt that in. Little salt, pepper, and I'm gonna add some fresh chives and my friends Peter and Phil got me this cool little herb chopper. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna use it. Potatoes are done, just waiting on the chicken. The kitchen smells so good from this chicken. Nothing is homier than a plate of mashed potatoes. I would just make a big bath of potatoes at the bottom of my plate, and then I'm gonna take this little guy. And look how crispy that crust got. It's so good. It's just so what you want for dinner. The family will be happy. Who 
wouldn't want to make dinner with Jess. She's one of my favorite people. All right, coming up, Megan finally dishes on her homemade dish so you can try it too. Then Liberty Chan heats up something vegan. Fork you. Just kidding, Libs. Plus the code word for Monarch Beach giveaway getaway that is sure to fill you up. LA Unscripted, we're better than dessert and more filling. So come back. You know, California really is a dining destination like nowhere else. I love it. Oh, we are so lucky. I lived mm -hmm. up in Northern California and then being here in Southern California. Oh, it's so good. You can all go ahead, take a bite out of the Big Apple, but I'll stay right here on the left coast, the best coast, uh -huh. where Rocky Road ice cream was actually created. You know what? I just learned this. Yeah. I didn't know this, but that flavor was made in Oakland during the Great Depression in hopes to make the tough times a little sweeter. See, there's always a silver lining. Right? Oh. You know what I like? Also, sweet and salty. Oh. Libs is mixing something up in the kitchen. Here's your healthy vibes. Most of my life, my adult life anyway, it's been at least 50% plant-based. And then so that just led into me cutting out meat completely after I watched What the Health. You know, that was an eye-opener for me. That's Crazy. Gosh, that's what made me vegan as well. I worked in New York for um, about 20 years, actually. I got to learn from a master dim sum chef. Master dim sum chef. Now I really want to cook with you. So we're going to make a pineapple fried rice. It's jasmine rice, which is great in terms of the notes that you get, the foreign notes. Um, there are shiitake mushrooms, which you can substitute for any mushroom that you like. Um, there's oven dried pineapple, and then the Thai basil that you add to with the cilantro and the scallions. Everything just brightens up the dish. So we have everything chopped up. What do you want me to do first? Once your oil is hot, you're gonna add in your aromatics. And now we're gonna add our onions, scallions, and chilies, and mushrooms. As long as you see your mushrooms starting to wilt down a little bit, this will be the time where you add your rice. So, you know, you give it a little toss. I'm leaving that up to you. Like, I'm gonna pretend <laughs> to toss, like I'll just break. Yeah, that's my toss. That's what mine looks like. Not as cute awesome. as yours, but it's okay. Hey. The, the most important thing is that it tastes good. Add your pineapple. Okay, how much? You want to do maybe two spoons or like a, a small handful. You don't want to put too much because the pineapple is just to add a little bit of flavor. And if you want to get fancy in your home and you have sesame seeds, you can put a little bit of sesame seeds on top. You know, black or white sesame seeds, so. Oh, look at yours. That's like so much better. I want to put everything in your book. Whatever that tofu fish filet thingy was. The popsicle. They're amazing. You have to try it. Can we do that next time? I would love to. Yep, yep. Chef Harris also one chopped and his cookbook is out now. Now, again, in my opinion, we've talked about this. Stoves are wasted space. Mm -hmm. They would make far better storage for winter clothes, like sweaters, shoes. I think you mentioned bags. Bag. I would I would so much rather be shopping with you, Dana, oh, than cooking. Oh, I hear you. But I did this for you. What? I whipped something up for you. You made that. One out of one. <laughs> this, this is the one, one, out of one dish I can make. Uh, okay. uh, actually inspired by Olive Garden, Zupa Toscana. Did you buy it at Olive Garden? <laughs> Do you like bacon? I do. Do you like spicy sausage? I like some meat. Do you like potatoes? I like potatoes. <laughs> well, I supplemented a cauliflower for potatoes. Good, Sorry. so it's healthy. Yeah, a little more keto. Good, you know, I needed a little to... more fiber in my okay, diet. You don't. Here we go. I'm gonna load the spoon like I do for Lola Ray. Here you go, I do okay. it like this. Okay, okay, uh -huh. okay. Oh, Hold that's on. some good kale. Uh-huh, Do you uh -huh. like kale? Oh, you're mm -hmm. dripping everywhere. It's your bib. Mmm. Not bad, right? It's actually delicious. Okay. You know where else you can go for five-star food and service? Not my house. Monarch Beach Resort. We can't stop creating memories. We can't stop connecting with our extended families. And, you know, Monarch Beach is the perfect place to come and do that. There's something for you at every point of the day, for every generation, grandparents, parents, children. The change of scenery is so important. We're really the only resort in Southern California that has pool, beach, spa, golf on property. As we thought about who we needed to be this year for our guests, 
and we knew that everyone would want to stay on property. So having really lots of programming and lots of activities, you can take the tram down to the beach, you can take a walk along the beach. We're connected to almost 40 miles of trails here in Dana Point and Laguna Gale. And but the, you know, if you think about the therapeutic nature of ocean air and just seeing it, that's, this is the perfect place to rejuvenate. You know, we've taken safety um, this year incredibly seriously. And so beginning, we have, we've got certifications from Global Biorisk Advisory Council. We've also had a partnership with UCI Health. We've created two special packages, one Zoom into Zen and one education. For those, we actually took some of our guest rooms and converted them into dedicated offices and or study rooms. And that allows you, if you're, you know, if you're with your family, but you need to work in the morning, it allows you the kind of private space to be able to do that uninterrupted and then gather with your family in the afternoon for some fun. They can book that package on our uh, monarchbeachresort.com or also call to our reservations team and they can assist. Go explore Dana Point, go explore Laguna Beach and reconnect with Southern California and rejuvenate yourself. For your chance to win one night stay, a 50 minute massage, breakfast and dinner for two at the Monarch Beach Resort, text BUTTERFLY to 515151. Good luck. You know what else I'm really good at? What's that? Room service. Of course you are. <laughs> All this made me super hungry. You wanna go get something to eat? Oh yes, Olive Garden? Breadsticks! I'm not making Bread that sticks. again. <laughs> okay, let's do it. That's right. <laughs>